You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, Internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. 687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. 
Sometimes writers feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. Hello, America. Welcome to the Friday edition of the America Off the Rails show. Well, here in just a minute, anyway. I am your host, Rick Robinson. We'll be live with you here in just about 60 seconds. Got lots of stuff to talk about tonight, starting with the uh, recent turn of events with the Steele dossier. That's right. Uh, senators have recommended their first set of charges. Not against who you might think. We'll talk about that and much, much more, including a hashtag that was trending on Twitter earlier today that was actually kind of a blowback from this recent book. And Trump's new nickname for Steve Bannon. We talked about it a little bit last night on the Jen and Rick Show. We're going to talk about it more today because it's funny and also it gives me another chance to say I told you so to one President Donald Trump. We'll do all that and more coming up here in just about 60 seconds right here on the America Off the Rail Show. Don't go away. Everyone loves liberty. Our rights come from God, not the government. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty HealthShare is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care, not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information. Or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. Keep on doing what you do, Rick. You're my favorite host. Favorite host. Favorite host. America, welcome to the program. I am Rick Robinson. We are live right now on KLRNRadio.com, where liberty and reason still reign. We do this thing every Tuesday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, right here live. So if you want to check us out live, this is the only place you can do it. We are available elsewhere. We'll go through that stuff later. But if you enjoy live programming, this is the place to get us live um, for now. We actually have some other things that I'm trying to work on, but I can't get the go-ahead. Some of you know who I'm talking to, and I know some of you from there listen, so tell them... Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am in a really, really ornery mood today. It has been a short work week for me for the radio station stuff in between the holiday and the, uh, the me being sick, and now the missus isn't feeling well. So this is only two shows on a usual four-show week, and so I am feeling pretty ornery. And then, of course, Twitter kind of exploded. It imp- I don't know. I don't know if you would call it an explosion, implosion. I'm not exactly sure, but it's been a mess because, you know, there's been this joke running hashtag about the Gorilla Network, and then a fr- bunch of friends of mine started a hashtag trending guerrilla network tv shows had a bit of fun with those we may actually read some of those later in the show because they were just downright hilarious so for those of you who don't know apparently this uh guerrilla network thing has something to do with this book 
that was released today that apparently has Donald Trump doing everything on Twitter short of caps lock that makes him sound completely insane. This is the reason why I have been begging for this man for the last two years to put down Twitter. Look, I get it. Some of you like it. And most of the time, I have to admit, I, I agree. It's entertaining. It's funny. Like the big button thing. Yes, it made him sound like a fifth grader. But was it funny? Yes, it was. But this, this, this tweet about the, the whole, the whole, you know, the book, and I never gave this person access, don't know what they're talking about, dumbest book ever, sloppy Steve. I'm just like, dude, the only thing this is missing to make you sound like a crazy old man with spittle running down your chin while you're yelling is full-on caps lock. It doesn't help the fact that a good portion of the country already thinks you're insane. I don't think you're insane. I, I, I well, maybe not completely. I, and again, you know, I, I never really bought full-on ticket to the Trump train. I saw a poll yesterday that asked, you know, when now Trump would people that are supporting Trump now. It was a really poorly framed poll because it didn't really give me an option. It says, when did you buy a ticket to the Trump train? On the escalator? Um, on announcement day? On the RNC day? Or, and then there was another one. Uh, ballot box and I'm just thinking I still really haven't ever bought a ticket to the Trump train I try to support the president when he deserves it I really do and honestly most of his policies that I've seen enacted right now I agree with I like what's going on with the economy I like the positive job numbers I like the the fact that you know the the liberals are weeping and gnashing their teeth because we have all of these <clears throat> companies that they swore if we <laughs> gave them tax breaks they were going to do nothing but line their pockets with them and yet they're giving people bonuses and giving people pay raises and some companies are voluntarily raising their wages to $15 an hour you know and now all the liberals are threatening to boycott the companies that are doing these things that they seem to think they want done as long as it's the government making them do it and not them doing it on their own which is the most entertaining part of all is watching all the liberals completely you know go all heads bloaty um that that's the one thing that i guess hasn't changed for 2018 you know we're now um nearly well i guess we'll officially be in a week in on monday because monday was the first so far we're about five days into the new year and the word triggered is still in everybody's vocabulary because we're seeing it happen on a daily basis still 2018 the guy's now been in office for a year you know i mean you know sworn in just a few more days you know so it's basically we're looking at first full year in office the economy's doing okay despite what people said was going to happen everybody thought everything would implode the moment he was sworn in the opposite has occurred um we still haven't really found anything useful about russia other than the fact that it appears that some of the people that were actually financing the dossier that apparently helped get trump in trouble were also double dealing with the russians at the same time We'll get into that, too, because, yeah, apparently, you know, the, the Senate has recommended somebody for charges in their Russia probe, but it's not who you might expect. They're not going after President Trump. They're going after Steele. I wonder why that is. Maybe we'll delve into that a little bit today, too. But we got to get the first break out of the way. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We'll be back in about 60 seconds. Don't go away. You're out here acting so tough. Attention business owners and independent contractors. thousand dollars or more in taxes we can help you today right now listen dealing with the irs is no picnic no, it's an intimidating and extremely kind of stressful I'll... process and you don't want to go it alone our attorneys know every law every tax break and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt and if you owe more than twenty thousand dollars you may be at the top of their hit list so don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own the irs can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810.
helps if I hit the right button. Welcome back, folks. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson, coming to you live right now from KLRNRadio.com. Want to give a quick shout out to the affiliates. Not only are we available live here every Tuesday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we are available on restreams starting in order of where we come on the earliest. The uh, Talk America Radio Network, the Liberty Channel, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern. Lanterns Radio Network, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern. Um, also available on amfm247.com every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And the uh, CRN Digital Talk Group. We're available over there every Saturday and Sunday at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central, 7 Pacific. So that's right. If you do the math, there are times when this show can be on in one form or another, not counting podcast about three or four times a day. Uh, now, if we uh, take that into account as well, if you count it the podcast stuff, we're also available on just about every podcast source known to man, uh, mostly thanks to station manager Ann, who is tirelessly finding new ones to put us on all the time. Some of these things I didn't even know existed. So I, I, I have... The, I have the high points list, like I like to call them, which are the ones that I know about. So we're on iCl- um, iCloud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, FM Player, Google Play Music, iHeartRadio as a podcaster. Actually, all of uh, the three shows that I'm uh, part of are all on iHeartRadio. I'm kind of proud of that. Uh, we submitted over to The Blaze, and so far they have just been kind of meh. So I'm, you know, just kind of... You know, I don't know. I'm I'm giving Glenn Beck the 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 half-hearted finger, even though you can't see it because it's not because it's radio, not TV. Not really. I I, I like Glenn Beck. I've actually uh, met him in person before. Seems like a really cool guy. I'm just a little bummed because I know people that are over on the Blaze now, and they're like, "You should come over." And I'm like, "I keep trying," and he keeps telling me no. Pull some strings. Do something. All right. No, anyway. All right. So enough of me prattling on about where all we can be heard. Again, I just want to thank everybody for taking the time to listen. Whether you do so live, restream, Memorex, podcast, however you do it, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy, busy schedules to hang out with yours truly. Um, This is something that, honestly, I never thought I would be able to do. Technology has made a dream of mine come true. I'm now actually a syndicated talk show host, and that is predominantly because of you guys. And we are still working on better ways to bring the show to you, still improving it, actually, as promised. Some point this month, we will actually... ...stuff now. Levels are still moving, so I'm not so sure. But anyway, so at this point, we're going to keep on rolling. So we've got lots of things we want to talk about today. Um, So I guess the biggest story is Republican senators raise possible charges against the author of the Trump dossier. Uh, This is actually coming over from multiple news sources. Uh, More than a year after Republican leaders promised to investigate Russia's interference in the presidential election, two influential Republicans on Friday made the first known congressional criminal referral in connection with the meddling against one of the people who sought to expose it. Senator Charles Grassley of Iowa and chairman of the Judiciary Committee and Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, a senior committee member, told the Justice Department that they had reason to believe that a former British spy, Christopher Steele, lied to federal authorities about his contacts with reporters regarding information in a dossier, and they urged the department to investigate. The committee is running one of the three congressional investigations into the Russian election meddling, and its inquiry has has come to focus on, in part, Mr. Steele's explosive dossier that purported to detail Russia's interference and the Trump campaign's complicity. So it goes on to detail that there, again, you can find it through multiple sources. Uh, This is actually out of the New York Times. Um, It was one of the more uh, liberal uh, folks that were talking about it. So I figured, you know, it was one of the things where if they're talking about it, considering they wouldn't be happy about it, it's probably pretty accurate. All right, so apparently we are cutting out a bit. Let me shut a few things down. I think my hamsters are cranky. Okay, so at this point, let me do one other thing here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take the the next commercial break about two minutes early. should give me time to hopefully track down the gremlins here. 
make sure we don't have any issues. We'll be back in about three minutes. Stay tuned. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. Welcome back, folks. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. I think we tracked down the gremlins while I was on commercial break. Turns out my oldest had forgotten that he's not supposed to be playing online video games while I'm broadcasting. So I think we have it fixed. All right, so anyway, uh, we are live. Actually, I want to talk about something real quick that's a bit off topic. Um, And just answered for station manager Ann, who asked me in DM what the issue was. All right, so um, as of now... Um, before we get back to the topics at hand, I actually had something come across my desk that I kind of want to touch on because, you know, this is just one of those things that kind of makes you realize, um, that sometimes you're not as crazy as everybody thinks you are. Um, one of the things that just came across my desk is actually from a a group that I subscribe to that covers radio and and podcasting news. They just put out a newsletter that basically indicates that as of right now, uh, that... The podcast world is kind of basically, uh, well, I mean, nice way to put it is they've kind of lit up. Um, For those of you who remember, I came up with this idea several years ago and everybody kind of thought that I was crazy. Back then, there was really only one major podcast platform and we were part of it. 
Um, but one of the things that has actually come out now is um, at this point, they have found the, uh, the fact that there's a research from Bridge Ratings uh, that has prompted the firm to declare podcasting is the breakthrough format of the year. Uh, for 2017, 45% of the world's population listens to podcasts now. 45% of the world's population is currently listening to podcasts. So for those of you that have been ahead of the curve with yours truly, I want to thank you for coming along for the ride. Seems like the rest of the world is kind of catching up with us now. Um, even most major radio stations now offer forms of podcast or iHeartRadio broadcasting, etc. So, you know, I remember one of the things that I, when I originally pitched this idea um, way back in the day when we were the other guys, one of the things that I pointed out was at some point this is going to become like cable TV was in the 70s compared to how it is now because when everybody got it at first you know let's when people talk about this it's internet radio it's podcast radio it's but you know the thing about that is when cable tv first came out that's what people called it it wasn't regular tv because it wasn't broadcast it was cable tv but now it's just tv doesn't matter if you're getting it through uverse doesn't matter if you're getting it through direct tv through uh cox through whatever cable provider you have or honestly, at this point, even if it's streaming now, because there's so many different streaming apps, everybody just calls them, it's TV, because it's still what it is. So as as these technologies continue to merge and everything moves more towards a streaming format, eventually what was once internet radio is simply just going to become radio. So we've been ahead of the curve now for quite some time. Now the curve is starting to catch up to us, which makes me a little happy because it means that as we continue to uh, push forward and continue to persevere that eventually we might see a little bit more of an income from it not that income is everything that i do this for it's actually one of the last things that i really worry about i actually just do it because i love it um just to be completely honest i would love to get paid for it and do it full time um but it's it's either going to make it at some point or it's not either way i'm never going to quit doing it um, so let's get back to the topic that we were trying to discuss before my internet went a little crazy and then I got distracted by the fact that 45% of the world's population are currently digging podcasts. All right, so we were talking about the, the dossier. We've talked about the dossier before and the fact that it's this crazy, crazy, just, just, just mess. I mean, let's be honest. Um, it's a mess. It's been debunked for the most part. Now the Senate, through their investigations, have decided that they, I mean, they cannot be the one to criminally investigate anybody. But the fact that they are uh, recommending charges against Steele is actually kind of monumental. Um, it also seems to kind of validate a lot of what we've thought all along, which most of this stuff, whether anybody wants to admit it or not, seems to be pointing in the opposite direction. Now, I know with Steve Bannon having his little meltdown and Donald Trump and he having shouting matches back and forth and now Trump has his cute little pet name for Bannon, you know, Sloppy Steve. Um, I don't know what is eventually going to come out as far as what the Trump administration or the Trump campaign team may have known or when they have known it about Russia. But no, try as they might. For the last year, this continues to blow up in the left's face over and over and over again. I don't see that changing anytime soon. And I've talked about this before, and some of you are, are aware that, you know, I'm one of those people that I typically, on average, I will allow people's first impressions of me, whatever they may be, to allow them to color how they deal with me. Um, you guys that follow along on Twitter, you've seen people attack me because they assume that I, because I, I don't really know why, but everybody assumes I have Down syndrome, I guess, because my picture, I, you know, I can't help the fact that my family has large foreheads. Doesn't mean I have Down syndrome, but people assume that because of the picture. So I, so much like I think Donald Trump has been doing, I will allow people's perceptions of me to dictate how they deal with me, and then I respond in ways that help perpetuate that in some cases until I basically am, am ready to let fly with whatever I've let them paint themselves into a corner with. I've done that time and time again on Twitter and elsewhere, and I've actually used that to my advantage when I was a private investigator. Because people would make assumptions about me that would allow me to be able to do my job more efficiently and more effectively without them ever realizing that I was doing so. In some ways, I think that might be what Donald Trump has been doing all along. Because try as they might, no matter what they throw at him and no matter how crazy he sounds, when the left is done with trying to get something on him, it usually winds up blowing up in their faces. Now, again, I don't know what's going to come of this Russia probe. What I do know 
is that they've had a year. So far, they don't have anything. When I bring that up, all I hear from the left is, well, it took four years to get uh, to get Nixon. But that wasn't in the information age, not the way that we have things now. We have information at our fingertips, whether we want it or not. Things that were put on the internet that we think are gone never truly go away. If there was dirt out there in regards to this, I'm sure we would have it by now. Because we've been able to uncover so many things about the other side that they're not talking about because they're not willing to talk about them because, well, we're not talking about Hillary Clinton anymore because she lost. This is about Donald Trump and the fact that he's a Russian spy and he's basically Putin's puppet and you voted for him and you're a moron. And I'm sitting here thinking, first of all, I didn't vote for him. Second of all, prove to me that he's Putin's puppet and maybe I will help you get the message out because so far nobody's been able to do it. They've tried and tried and tried and tried and they haven't been able to do it. The only person that makes Donald Trump look like he might be crazy is Donald Trump. Because he doesn't have a filter. That's why he's a terrible politician. He doesn't have a filter. He ha- he doesn't he doesn't have the formal training to basically, you know, everybody on the planet usually has a switch between their brain and their tongue. Or in this case, their brain and their fingers. Donald Trump does not. And that's part of what spills over onto Twitter. And that's why the American people, the ones that like him, love him. Because they think it's great. Because they finally have somebody who is a president who, yeah, maybe he's a millionaire, but he doesn't act like one. I mean, really, when he's talking on day to day, you you wouldn't think that he was a multimillionaire. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't honestly know. But I do know that he connects with the American people in a way that I haven't seen. People are about to yell at me since Reagan. I'm not comparing him to Reagan. Please don't misunderstand me. But I'm saying he has the ear and the pulse of the American people, much like Reagan was able to do. And whether we like it or not, for his day and his time, Reagan was a brash populist. He was a brash populist with a better filter, but he was still a brash populist. The, the, the Republican Party as a whole hated President Reagan. Hated him. Much like they hate Trump today. What has concerned me about Donald Trump, honestly, it wasn't necessary, necessarily his failure, but his success. And I'll talk about that when we come back, because some of you are wondering where I'm going with this. We've got to get the bottom of the hour break out of the way. We'll be back in about four minutes. Stay tuned. You're out here acting so tough. Everyone loves liberty, our rights come from God, not the government. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty Health Share. Liberty Health Share is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty Health Share is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care, not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information, or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm. But even then, he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. 
you'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now, 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible, affordable, relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, folks, welcome back. So before we went to break, I made a controversial statement, so let me make sure I pick up where I left off so I don't get any hate mail over it because I can already feel it coming. So one of the reasons that I was most concerned about Donald Trump wasn't necessarily that he was going to fail, but that he was going to succeed because of how brash he is, because of the fact that he basically has no filter, because I've seen a lot of people in the Republican Party adopting his mannerisms and the way that he, that, and the way that he acts with people. And I get it. May, part of it is me because of the part of the country that I live in. I'm from middle America. We are not typically rude people. We are not typically fast-paced people. We, I mean, you know, we just, we're just not. You know, we're the type, you know, people drive by, we wave at each other, we tip hats if we wear them, we talk to strangers. You know, he's an East Coaster. He's from New York. They're brash. They're loud. I understand that that's, that, that's a cur- cultural thing. That's the part that I guess nobody really takes into consideration is we do have different cultural and region things in this country. Even if we are Americans, everybody doesn't view being an American exactly the same because there are different regions, different cultures that have composed different regions and different behaviors. Being loud and brash is kind of an East Coast thing. And I understand that that's part of what a lot of people either love about him or hate about him. But part of what concerned me was as he continues to gain in popularity, because we are actually starting to see his poll numbers go up, I think more of the Republican Party is going to adopt and adapt to the way that he won the election. And I don't necessarily think that is a good thing. There were things that happened during his campaign that I am not a fan of and I hope do not become part of political lexicon. But I am afraid... Those things are going to happen, especially because whether anybody likes it or not, he is succeeding. Now, I am not upset that he's succeeding. I'm really not. I didn't want him to fall on his face. I don't want to be the guy sitting on the deck of the Titanic rooting for the iceberg. I'm just, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the things that he's done so far. 
and the the left's reaction to them and you know despite all of the naysayers I, if this tax reform does a quarter of what they think it's going to do i don't see this being the usual typical midterm where the power the party in power loses their seats because here's the thing that nobody's talking about there have literally been hundreds of thousands of people that have gotten these bonuses already i mean these these things just started kicking in these the new tax reform stuff kicked in this week for those of us that aren't starting to see it on our taxes yet you should note or on your paychecks yet you should notice it in february people are already starting to get bonuses we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars being pumped right back into the economy and mainly affecting the middle class, and every single Democrat voted no. So if this works, if it does a quarter of what the president thinks it's going to do, and we've already seen that it's going to do more than what a lot of us thought it was going to do, because I have to admit, one of the things in the back of my mind has always been, what if the Democrats are right? What if we give all of these rich people all this money and they basically hold on to it. Could I fault them for it? No, because in their position, I might do, I honestly might do exactly the same thing. But in a lot of ways, they're doing exactly what none of us ever really thought they were going to do. Even those of us that live by that principle, a lot of us still in the back of our mind had this nagging little thought of what if we're wrong? What if we finally get the government to get out of the way of business and of the middle class and everybody just starts hoarding? Because that's what we see. That's what our behavior looks like. But that's because that's what it's had to be. Because the government's been so deeply in all of our pockets that we've been grabbing onto every little penny that we can find. So I, for one, while I was concerned about his success, I'm also really happy that he's been succeeding. Mainly because it's causing liberal heads to explode every single day. And that's, I'm sorry, entertaining to watch. Does that make me a bad person? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I don't really care. Because I've watched them beat up on us for the last eight years. I was called a bitter clinger who refused to give up my guns and my religion. Now they're the ones that are being browbeat every day. But they're not being browbeat because we're being mean. They're being, being browbeat because they're watching the government get out of the way of business and get out of the way of the middle class. And these companies are voluntarily doing these things that these people swore could only be done through regulation. We're dismantling every part of their belief system right in front of their eyes and they don't know what to do. Which is why they're screaming and they're, and they're, I mean, you know, to borrow a phrase from the Bible, there's much weeping and gnashing of teeth because they don't know what to do. Because this was not supposed to happen. That's why these people are angry and they're threatening to boycott these companies that are doing the right thing. That are putting the money back, <coughs> pardon me, back into the pockets of their employees. And they're giving them bonuses and they're giving them pay raises. And, you know, I heard this uh, right before we went on the air. I heard a, a person from the Communist News Network, otherwise known as CNN. Well, yes, we've had record job numbers for the last couple of quarters. But 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 wages are still stagnant. They've only rose by 3% so far. We just passed a massive tax reform. Give it time, Junior. Trust me, at this point, this is one of the things that will spur the economy. Because now that because the thing the thing that has driven kept wages low for as long as it has been is not the fact that the government needed more regulation to tell people what to tell businesses what they needed to pay. It's the fact that there hasn't been any competition because there have been more jobs than we've had people. Or, I'm sorry, more people than we've had jobs. I said that backwards. Now we're about to get to the point where we're going to have more jobs than we have people. That's a good thing because that means that companies are going to want to pay more to hang on to the people that they have to keep them in a position, to keep them from wanting to jump ship and go somewhere else that's willing to pay them a little bit more. That's what starts driving wages up, which in turn spurs the economy because the more money you make, uh, the more taxes you have to pay, which means there's more that the government gets to keep of your paycheck, which is one of, one of the reasons why I looked at those CBO numbers and started laughing my rear end off because those CBO numbers in response to the tax reform are a joke. And I've talked about it before, so I'm not going to go into much detail about it now. Plus, we've got a break I need to take here in a second. I'm actually a little long. But the CBO numbers were based on static numbers. You can't do, you can't, when you're dealing with 
a, a major economy like the United States, you can't use static numbers. An economy is dynamic. Things shift. It, move, it moves. It changes. So as we continue to see more people added into the workforce, that spreads out the amount of tax money that we're getting from the tax base because more people are in the workforce. The more people we get in the workforce, the higher the wages get to keep the people that are already in the workforce in the places where they are instead of them shifting around and going to other places that are willing to pay them more. The more money they make, the more taxes they pay in. Anybody else figuring out how this works yet? I'm telling you, we're about to see a boom because we are about to actually unhook. This is, this is going to be a, a recurrence of what happened in the 80s. Everybody talks about how trickle-down ec economics in the 80s didn't work. That's crap, because I lived through it. I watched gas lines disappear. I watched people, I mean, my family, when I was a little kid in the 70s, we were on the commodities program before they ever got food stamps. In the 80s, we were off the commodities program. My dad made good money in the 70s. We were still needing help. That's my point. The more the government gets out of our pockets and the more the government gets out of our business, the better that we're going to be able to take care of ourselves. And this is one of the things that we are about to see come unhooked as far as with Donald Trump and his administration and this new tax plan. Because now that it's passed, people are starting to see it's starting to work. As it continues to work and continues to do more of the things that we've expected it to do, I have a feeling the Democrats are going to start scrambling to try to get any seats in 2018. I hope so anyway, because our margins are already razor thin in the Senate. Anyway, we'll be back in about two minutes. I'm long on this segment. Stay tuned. That's where we can meet. You bring your sticks, I'll bring your ages. Just don't know what you've been asking for. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm. But even then, he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, folks, welcome back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. I can't believe we're already almost through the show. All right, so in case you're just tuning in, what's the matter with you? Where you've been for the last 49 and a half minutes? Just playing. If you are tuning in, uh, never fear. You'll get to catch the end of the show, and then you can always catch the podcast later. One of the ones I realized I never mentioned, which is kind of odd, is Spreaker as a podcast site. I should probably make sure I do that since that's kind of the unofficial backbone of everything that we're doing um, as far as podcast storage. So, yeah, you can also catch us there. Um, they actually have a pretty cool app that works pretty well. So, you know, one way or the other, you can find the show in about a bazillion different places or live. Um, and, you know, we've been talking about the, the Trump campaign, the meltdown with uh, what it, what it, Sloppy Steve. 
I'm still not sure where he's coming from with that one. The the interesting thing about that, and I, I have to point this out again, is, you know, Mr. Trump, I was one of the ones trying to tell you Bannon was a bad idea from the jump. When you bring a guy that is a professed Leninist into the White House, bad juju. I might have expected that under Barack Obama. I didn't expect it under you. I also have to point out that we, for years, were making fun of Barack Obama and his imaginary appointees, as as in, you know, Valerie Jarrett, the, the position that he basically made up. Um, and we assumed that when somebody with an R behind their name got back into the White House, we would make that position go away, not have it filled by a Leninist. So... But again, you know, something to point out again, because Jen and I talked about this a little bit last night. One of the things I guess that concerns me the most about the the, the tactic of trying to push Bannon on violating a, an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, is that leads, lead, lends credence to the things that are in the book. And I don't think that's a very good tactic. Now, it could be that they're talking about very specific things that were more kind of like, you know, details that Bannon was aware of that that he let go of that may not have really had too much to do or weren't really centered on the Russia probe. I'm not sure. Um, but the fact that the Trump administration is red faced and huffing and puffing and basically, like I said, is on Twitter doing everything short of caps lock. It doesn't, doesn't look good. And again, that's, that's part of the difference between an everyday average American and a polished, um, politician and i know that you guys didn't vote for a politician i get it you didn't want one you wanted you wanted the bull in the china shop but the issue with the bull in the china shop is eventually you got to get them out of the china shop otherwise they're going to tear everything up the problem is we put a bull in the china shop then we locked him in for the next four years and every time i think he's growing into the role something sets him off and it's like he loses ground and again, I'm not faulting him for it. As a, as a regular human being, I probably would have done the same. You guys heard me during the, the, the primaries talking about the fact that if Donald Trump had said the things about my wife that he had said about Tom, uh, Ted Cruz's or wife, I probably I almost said Tom Cruz. Ted Cruz's wife, I probably would have laid him out on the stage and just turned around and walked off and just been like, hey, I'm done. I'm just out. Go ahead. Put me in jail. I don't care. Um, because from wh where I'm from, you don't talk about a man's wife that way. You just don't. But again, that's the difference between where I live and a brash New Yorker who's no holds barred and wants to do whatever he has to do to be able to win. That was part of what I didn't want politics to become. It's there, There's enough of that. It's already a blood sport where everybody's just waiting to see what other juicy morsel is going to drop next. That's the problem with candidates like Donald Trump, because now I have a feeling this is how all elections are going to be in the future, which is one of the reasons why I had such a problem with it. But at the same time, while I was very, very staunchly opposed to Donald Trump, again, I can't argue with his results. Not so far. Now, again, for all of you sploaty head liberals out there that are like, oh, my God, you're rooting for a guy that's that's, that's Putin's puppet or half of you say it is Putin. You're rooting for Putin's puppet. No, I'm, I am not. You've shown me no proof that he's Putin's puppet. Show me something. Something tangible. Not your, not your hurt feelings over Hillary Clinton losing. Because you guys thought it was her time. She was the new anointed one. You knew it. You felt it in your bones. You guys were the ones that were making fun of the Trump administration. Or the Trump people. And you guys aren't going to abide by the election results. He's told us as much. There's going to be rioting and looting in the streets. And blah, 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 blah. That's funny. When the shoe was on the other foot, what did you guys do? Rioting and looting in the streets. So again, this isn't about hurt feelings. This isn't about, you know, the glass ceiling. This isn't about this was her time. She's a woman. It was her turn. Because you know what? If you want to get really technical about it, for those of you that are whining about the Electoral College, and some of you still are, believe it or not, 2018, I still, this isn't, he's not my president because he, he didn't win the popular vote. Well, you know what? Hillary Clinton shouldn't have been your candidate because she didn't win the popular vote inside the DNC, but she was still your candidate. So if you're going to use that kind of logic, be ready for that kind of logic to be used on you. All right. So we've got to get the last break out of the way. Then we've got just about enough time to close the show. We'll be back in about three minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> My son was in the army back during Desert Storm. 
But even then, he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 of pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. Well, that actually wasn't the bumper I was looking for, but conveniently enough, we've just about hit that part of the show anyway. So, welcome back, folks. This is America Off the Rails. As I said, we are just about to leave the show. I want to take a moment just to thank everybody for taking time to tune in with us this week. I know it was a short week. We plan on being back to full schedule and hopefully full strength by Tuesday. However, the missus is now sick, too. So, um, if that continues to uh, be a thing, then I may have to take some time off to be able to help take care of her. Lord knows she deserves it. She spends a lot of time taking care of me. Um, But I want to, again, you know, just point out, look, again, I am not a Trump cheerleader by any stretch of the imagination, but whether you like it or not, the economy is humming along. We're seeing businesses giving money back to people, which is something the left has told us was never going to happen. We're seeing uh, what appears to be good economic growth for now the second quarter in a row. We uh, we're above 3% GDP, which we were told was never going to happen again. According to the Obama administration, we would be lucky to ever see like 2.2, 2.3% again because the world economy had just changed and everything was anemic. And I'm just I'm just telling you, I, I feel it in my bones. This, is, this, this economy is about to take off in a way that we haven't seen. This is the same kind of thing. I saw economic predictors. That under the Obama administration, if he had done just a couple more things like we're seeing being done right now, that the economy would have come unglued and just exploded and he would have gotten all the credit for it. But he was so worried about tearing us down to the point where, you know, America couldn't be better than anybody else because we were horrible, terrible, no good, very bad people. That I, I think he, he either lost focus or he never had the focus that he tried to convince people that he had when he ran because he ran on being a uniter and instead was a divider. 
Donald Trump has actually run on basically, I'm going to tear everything apart and get rid of the swamp and we're going to make the country better even if we have to break a few eggs to make it happen. And now I'm seeing more and more people starting to unite. Whether they're uniting to oppose him or uniting to support him is a different story, but at least now we really only have two major divides in the country instead of a plethora of them. And again, I think some of you folks are about to be on the wrong side of history, and so far you haven't been able to show me anything that proves to me otherwise. But there's still more time, you never know, maybe you guys will get lucky and maybe you'll find something about this Russia collusion thing after all, but let's not forget, an appointed, or soon to be appointed, um, SecDef is actually allowed to meet with foreign operatives. Even apparently a, uh, camp, uh, presidential campaign member. As you know, the actual candidate is allowed to meet with foreign operatives because Barack Obama did it all the time. All right, so we'll be back here in about three hours for the Robinson and Wright Show to cap off your Friday night. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Robinson. We'll be back with you on this show on Tuesday. Hope everybody enjoys your weekend. We finally made it. It's Friday. Crank it up. Crank it up.